Hi, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we are going to take a look at your person's thoughts and feelings about you. Um, it is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful. If you're after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's see what are your person's thoughts and feelings about you today. All right, there you go, your six cards. So they're definitely thinking about you, but it's a very tense, nervous kind of energy. Your person is... Okay, interesting. Then nervous to communicate with you. Okay, if this is something that's new, then this is an energy that feel that makes that gets very nervous around you. They get very shy. They get very nervous. They're not very confident, um, or maybe typically they are, but you just make them feel this way. Um, someone who I feel like looks at you in awe or admiration. This is someone who I feel like has been crushing on you. It could be a secret admirer. Okay, maybe this person is scared to come forward and scared to approach you because they're scared of rejection. They're very nervous uh, to, to find out how it is that you might react or respond to, their, um, to them crushing on you. If it is someone that you're, you know, you have been seeing and you've been dating, um, there is something key that, something key that your person wants to share with you, but I feel like they're not confident to do that just yet. Maybe they don't feel comfortable. Um, maybe this is someone who's a bit more emotionally reserved here. I do see that this person is very attracted to you. I do see that this is someone very drawn to you. Someone who is, um, you know, who feels very, who feels a strong connection to you. Someone who feels like you're, they, they were very quite surprised. They've had one impression of you and you turned out to be very different um, from, you know, the idea that they had of you. So this person found it, you know, has found you to be very refreshing or has found this connection to be very surprising here. There is something here that they want to surprise you with as well. So they may be planning a sweet romantic gesture for you. They might be planning their next date with you here. It feels like this is something that your person is putting a lot of thought um, and a lot of energy into as well, especially with the Page of Cups. There is also something that they want to share with you. So if it is a secret admirer, he or she may want to open up and tell you their feelings, how they feel about you. But again, I see them being very nervous. I see this person being a little bit shy, a little bit giddy, a little bit almost like schoolboy or schoolgirl like in nature. So, you know, someone who likes you and someone who teases you on the playground, but, you know, isn't confident enough to, um, to tell you that they are romantically interested in you and This person is enjoying the, I don't know if you're playing hard to get, whether you realize it or not, or I don't know what it is, but this person is enjoying the thrill of the chase, the thrill of the hunt. This is also someone who I feel like is very excited about your connection with them, is very excited about the fact that you guys get on or that, you know, you are giving them your attention and you're giving this connection your attention. This is also someone who's excited to see you next, who's excited to share something with you. But again, excitement can be, you know, like a nervous kind of exciting energy. They're in the head about you a lot. This is someone who thinks about you a lot. This is someone who, you know, is really into you, is really into getting to know you. You might be in a relationship with someone else. You might be taken. Or maybe this person doesn't know your relationship status. I don't know what it is. It just, there's something here that they want to share with you, but it feels like they're scared to come forward. They could be scared of rejection. They could be scared of your response here. 
They could be scared, you know, you might shut them down or that you might be in a relationship with someone else or that you might not like them in that way or they could be scared. Whatever it is that they feel like they have to share with you, they could be scared how you respond to it. Maybe if it's something personal or intimate they want to share with you, they might be scared that you might see them very differently moving forward. Someone who does a lot of thinking and fantasizing about you, it feels a little bit obsessive, their thoughts that is. It feels a little intrusive. So this person might be thinking about you and you know, as a result, their energy feels very distracted. Like they can't get you off their mind. They can't get you out of their head here. This is someone who is, I don't know what you've done to this person, but I feel like this is one smitten kitten. This is someone who's thinking about you all the time. And maybe the fact that they have restricted access to you or, I don't know, forbidden fruit situation. I don't know what it is, but maybe that's kind of heightening their obsession with you. Maybe they're obsessing over something that they want to share with you or the fact that they want to ask you out. Maybe that's what they're obsessing. It's like this person really wants everything to go perfect. This person really wants to make a good impression on you. You keep them up at night. I don't know if you realize this or not, but this person is... This is someone who rereads your text messages. So if, you, you know, if you've been texting a lot, this is someone who rereads them. Okay, this person also either looks through your um, social media pages, looks through your photos. This is someone who I feel like, yeah, a little, they're really into you. And because they don't know how to express that, that's what's making it a little bit obsessive. That's what's making it a little bit, you know, those thoughts a little bit intrusive because it feels like it's new. It does. It feels like there's still a novelty here that hasn't worn off. That's why I, it feels like it's very much a new connection. Could be someone that you were romantically involved with in the past and maybe this person is scared of repeating a past mistake. Could be that. There's some sort of nervous energy. Um, it feels like this person either needs liquid courage, you know, um, to share something with you here or... You just make them feel really giddy, very nervous, very excited, weak at the knees kind of energy. I see they are invested. I feel like this is someone who, you know, is putting in a lot of work and hard effort into this connection and into getting to know you. Especially into some sort of romantic gesture or your next date or the next outing here. Which would be a date, right? This, they're putting a lot of thought and energy into this. It's someone who wants things to go perfect. And, you know, they want to get to know you. And they want to impress you or woo you. They want to wine and dine you. They want to take care of you. They basically want you to think the best of them. Because they think really highly of you. But I feel like it's also... They love the challenge from what I'm seeing. They love that, you know... They love the thrill of the chase. They love the thrill of the hunt. I'm also seeing... It's not that you're playing games, but there is there is something something along those lines. There's something here that is keeping them on their toes. Let's let's call it that. Yeah, let's go with that. I think they're also stressing and um in angst over oh well, gosh, whether or not they communicate with you. So this person I feel like I don't know if this is someone who sends, you know, those people that send several messages all at once instead of just putting it into the one message. I don't know if that's the type of person they are. Or I don't know if this is someone who's like writing and deleting their text messages to you. They don't want to come across as too interested in you, but I think they've, I think they've already made that clear, right? All right, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. Bye for now.